I don't think we're getting a bit deep in here. It's, it's, it's backing off, that's like backed off a bit. Yeah, that's, that's where it's coming from. Yeah, I think... I think it's like... It could potentially be like a grounds roots thing. Yeah, like a grassroots thing. That's what I meant. Yeah. Grassroots. <laughs> <laughs> Makes more sense, ground roots, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you, you're right. Grand roots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grassroots, grand roots. And, well, we've got social media, right? Yeah. And information spreads quick through social media. Mm -hmm. You know, what if you just start, you know, putting see that there, that. Well, they're trying to think. control social media now. That's what they're trying to do, right? Yeah. Have like missing, you know, if you've got misinformation, disinformation, or malinformation, then you'll be censored or you'll be blocked. And the, even Facebook and those others have been up before Congress, got, you know, with COVID and all that, they had to cut, you know, they were forced by the government to um, not, not allow certain information to come out, you know? Mm. So their counter to that is to control social media. I think that's where the battleground is at the moment, you know? I'm not saying they've won that battle, no. but it, they certainly understand that that's where they're vulnerable. And then they've got the misinformation bill as well. Yeah. They brought that in, which then limits free speech. Right, which is very Orwellian, right? Like, it's totally yeah. fucking 1984, you know? Well, yes. Um, and, of course, they'll call it something <laughs> like Orwell, you know? Like you said before, you're talking about George Orwell. I mean, you know, the... the Oh, the Ministry of Truth. The Ministry of Truth, you know? <laughs> who, who made you Minister of Truth? Yeah. That's like putting yourself in the place of God. Like, I seriously. Know. That's what it is. It's a good right? joke. Minister of Truth is actually the Minister of, you know, it's everything's like the opposite, you know? It's I a, think it was, a, it was a good book. He was really onto political, you know? He saw what was coming. Oh! I think in Australia it's like a test ground because there's so much complacency amongst people here. Is I think they just keep pushing to see how far they can they can push people, you know. Yeah. yeah and it's like, like wow, it. we can keep doing this. We'll keep going. Yeah, yeah I know. it's like a bully, you know. When it, like if somebody is bullying somebody, right? Which is what I see a lot of the government. You know, I felt like I was bullied by the Queensland Health Ombudsman. You know, yeah, it's just bullies, you know. And they prey on people, and they just keep pushing to see how far they can push you, you know? It'd be like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> no, what you're doing is an act of love. You're just trying to help me get rid of tension. <laughs> I'm pushing you to your limit to see how much you can handle. Oh, I'm enjoying it. <sighs> wow, this is really charged on this side. Yeah. So how long has that shoulder been giving you curry for, or has it just happened when you were treating me? Yeah, this happened when I was treating you. <laughs> but actually, I mean, you know, I, I haven't got rid of all my tension for many years. I've never been, I haven't been tension free for a long time. So, but you, you know, I massage with this hand as well. I'm right handed, so. I've been doing a lot of weed whacking as well recently. Plus, that's the that relationship finger is the one I was telling you after I got divorced. You know, it was pretty messed up. That think it was the marriage that messed me up from the divorce. Fucking marriages. Mm. Oh, Shocking they, marriages. Yeah, they can be good or they can be bad. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. A good marriage is, you know, like I said before, it's just two people trying to lead each other to truth, you know. But you got to be on the same path, that's the thing. If you're not on the same path, it's not really a, a functional marriage, you know. You're just like one person's trying to go one way, one's trying to go, you know, they're trying to lead their family, and they, you know, it's just it all turns into a shit fight. Yeah, and I think that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Different ideas. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Well, I think a good marriage, you got to really kind of go, well, what's our goal of it? What's the purpose of this marriage, you know? Yeah, you gotta, it's almost like you've got to have an interview 
Yeah, well, you should, you know. Okay, so show me your resume, where, yeah. where, you, where your goals. Yeah. Well, you really need to get that, you know. It's like, especially like you say, the spiritual goals, you know, are so important, really, because your spiritual life is what's going to be eternal or, you know, take you through the, the death process as well. Mm. Everything else is temporary. So... If a spirit, if, it, if you, if your spirit, if you have a spiritual purpose in life, then you want to, have, you know, hopefully your partner has the same or a similar spiritual purpose, and therefore you can both go, okay, that's what's it, that's what's the most important thing, you know. Mm. And then secondly, it's obviously to raise your children in the in the same way, and and then stay as healthy in the material body as you can for as long as you can. But, you know, at the same time, we're all going to die. That's why everything pales in comparison to the spiritual purpose, in yeah, my opinion. Right. Because we're going to die. Yeah. We're gonna die you know what I mean? It can't be, you know, and so it's like, okay, where are we going when we die? And where are we going while we're alive? You know what I mean? It's like not just about death, but it's about where are we at in our spirit. So a good marriage should serve that purpose, in my opinion. But, you know, if you have a spiritual purpose in yourself. Lots of people obviously don't have a spiritual purpose, so it doesn't really matter what marriage means, because it's just a matter yeah, of saying it's a bit of paper. Just, yeah, exactly. And some people just don't agreement just to do this or do that for a while or you know? Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, that's right. I've heard someone say that marriage is a, a cake. Yeah, it's because, outdated. Which makes sense if you don't have a spiritual purpose. Yeah. You know, because really, without the spiritual purpose, it's just, what is marriage, you know? It's just, what, an agreement to live together and, you know what I mean, share your finances, but you could do that without marriage. To me, marriage is, I, I mean, when I first, I mostly got, like, got married spiritually before I got married legally. Yeah, that's right. Because that's what I cared about. That's how it's meant to be. Yeah. Because then it's got a deeper purpose, you know, which is very important. The rest of it's just like whatever. coming from that finger there, I think. This one here? Yeah. Because if I flick it... Could be both. Oh, yeah. It's tight. That's not from massaging you, by the way. Yeah. That's long term. Okay. Keep pulling away from me. <laughs> Just on that one spot there, it's because it feels definitely anchored in that it's not like... It's not loosening when you roll over it, you know what I mean? Because it's still held lower down. Unfortunately. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because that's somewhat uncomfortable too. This <sighs> feels pretty tight to me. Oh, yeah, it's always like, ah. Not towards the uh, ear. It's like the inside. Not yeah. towards the ear. Oh! 
that one's charged. <laughs> It's amazing how this little thing just creates a real sharp oh, yeah. sensation, you know? Yeah, definitely. It's like a tool that nothing escapes, you know? <laughs> I was, uh, the good thing too, when you get higher up, I was turning it over on you a little bit to use the other side, you know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, of course, so it's not so bloody sharp. Yeah. In there. Because well, you want the sharpness in the fingers and the toes yeah. and stuff, and even to a certain extent the hands and feet, but higher up it's... It's funny, that thumb at the moment feels Got a bit of itchiness to it, like it's got like you get bitten by something. Yeah, yeah. okay, bit of a histamine. Yeah, I've been gardening a lot, so good, have they? Mm. It feels pretty loose in there. Yeah, that's it. Yep, first finger's starting to feel quite loose now. Yeah, just in so just in rounds. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is the one. I think so. Because when I flick it, this one moves. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, it's really fucking tight, too. Oh! threshold a bit quicker than with the other fingers. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's the most yes. important thing. Audience, for yeah. those watching at home, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think.